Let's close that. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Noonday Prayers. Uh, if you like Noonday Prayers, like us. And if you have a prayer request, put it in the comments. Noonday Prayers will start on uh, page 103 of the Book of Common Prayer. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Psalm 119. Your word is a lantern to my feet and a light upon my path. I have sworn and am determined to keep your righteous judgments. I am deeply troubled. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept the Lord, the willing tribute of my lips, and teach me your judgments. My life is always in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have set a trap for me, but I have not strayed from your commandments. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly, they are the joy of my heart. I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes forever and to the end. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the, the Son, Son. And, and to the, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, the beginning is now, now, and will, will be, be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. The love of God has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. From the rising of the sun to its setting, my name shall be great among the nations, and in every place incense shall be offered to my name, and a pure offering for my name shall be great among the nations, says the Lord of hosts. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. <clears throat> Our reading today uh, is about the confession of St. Paul the Apostle. When Jesus' disciple Simon confessed, You are the Christ, Jesus responded, You are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church. This fisherman and his brother Andrew were the first disciples called by Jesus. Peter figures prominently in the Gospels, often stumbling, impetuous, intense, and uncouth. It was Peter who attempted to walk on the sea and began to sink. It was Peter who impulsively wished to build three tabernacles on the mountain of the Transfiguration. It was Peter who, just before the crucifixion, three times denied knowing his Lord. But it was also Peter who, after Pentecost, risked his life to do the Lord's work, speaking boldly of his belief in Jesus. It was also Peter, the rock, whose strength and courage helped the young church in its questioning about the mission beyond the Jewish community. Opposed at first to the baptism of Gentiles, he had the humility to admit a change of heart and to baptize the Roman centurion Cornelius and his household. Even after this, Peter had a continuing struggle with his conservatism, for Paul, writing to the Galatian, Galatians, rebukes him for giving way to the demands of Jewish Christians to dissociate himself from table fellowship with Gentiles. Though the New Testament makes no mention of it, the tradition connecting Peter with Rome is early and credible. According to a legend based on that tradition, Peter fled from, Ro from Rome during the persecution under Nero. On the Appian Way, he met Christ and asked him, Domine, quo vadis, Lord, where are you going? Jesus answered, I'm coming to be crucified again. Peter thereupon retraced his steps and was shortly thereafter crucified head downwards. I am not worthy to be crucified as my Lord was, he is supposed to have said. As we watch Peter struggle with himself, often stumble, love his Lord and deny him, speak rashly and act impetuously, his life reminds us that our Lord not, did not come to save the godly and strong, but to save the weak and the sinful. Simon, an ordinary human being, was transformed by the Holy Spirit into 
the rock and became the leader of the church. Since 1908, the eight days between the Feast of the Confession of St. Peter and the Feast of the Conversion of St. Paul have been observed ecumenically as the week of prayer for Christian unity. Thank you, Robert, for telling us about the Confession of St. Peter. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, Father who Lord art in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. Let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you again for being with us to stop in the middle of the day, in the middle of this rainy day, uh, to say your prayers. Uh, we pray uh, for Karen to have good news from her doctor. Uh, we pray for Diane and her family. In the Episcopal Church, we pray for Justin, the Archbishop of Canterbury, Michael, the Presiding Bishop, and Larry, our Bishop, Barclay, Joanna, Michael, and Patricia, our clergy, and our staff, and vestry. In the Anglican Cycle of Prayer, we pray for the Church of Nigeria. In our diocese, we pray for Holy Trinity Hot Springs Village and St. Stephen's Jacksonville. We pray for the diocesan youth ministries. We pray for peace, an end to racism, terrorism, oppression, poverty, pollution, and persecution. On St. Mark's staff, we pray for Luke Gilbert, family minister coordinator. We pray for our food pantry, our day school, and our other parish ministries especially St. Mark's Feed Our House, and we pray for Camp Mitchell. We pray for the safety of first responders, healthcare workers, and those in the military, especially Megan, Sam, Breen, Marshall, Garrett, William, and Alex. We pray for families expecting children, Alan and Ashley, Jamie and Selby. We pray for prisoners who are in need, sick, or homebound, and for those commended to our prayers, Mary, Kay, Barbara, Andrew, Don, Judy. And we give thanks for those who are celebrating their birthdays this week and those celebrating their wedding anniversaries. And we pray especially for those who have died and their families. We pray for especially for Carl Becker and Vicki and for Betty Dungan and her two daughters. Susan and Gail. Just looking to see if there are any more prayers. So let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And thanks be to God for you for being here with us in this rainy noonday to say your prayers. <laughs>